Hi, I'm quickly recording this video off the cuff and um, with the built-in uh, camera mic. So I ordered a few uh, Herzlich Lab modules and I had been talking to LB uh, from Herzlich about how disappointed I am in uh, the ether by Soma. And it's not that they don't work great, it's not that they don't produce sounds, it's just I have two and I wanted to use them in stereo. And apparently they are not calibrated precisely, so, well, using them in stereo doesn't make a whole a lot of sense. But LB mentioned that he made a redesign of his See All module. That's enough thumbnail action. The big advantage to this is that it connects in stereo with two giant uh, jacks. Let's just connect this to my field recorder. So I'm literally just getting them in. They fit snugly. And then if I take like any old field recorder with an input, uh, let, me, let me take off this. With an input um, gain setting, there's a few types of recorders with 32-bit float, and some of them don't have an actual uh, like preamp setting. And while in theory this would work for something like this, ideally you have something with a, a preamp that you can set uh, manually. Or, well, it can be automatic as well, but you need a preamp. So everything is connected. I'm all wired up. Now, no. Oh, my battery is already dying. Well, it was almost dead anyway. And then now let's connect C all. I'm already hearing that there is sound, but okay, let's go to some places in my house uh, to see what we can record. By the way, the CO2 sounds exactly the same as the Soma Ether, which is a good thing, but it's perfect stereo signal. So I'm very happy with that. So I have here, like, I don't know how these are called in English. That's where the mains electricity comes into the house. So with the Ether there was all kinds of interesting sounds there and well I did a little test uh, like two minutes ago they are there with CO2 as well
So once again, I'm coming in from the side here. <laughs> Let's listen to how a laptop, uh, well, and a printer scanner combination sounds. Everything is turned off, by the way. So this is my battery charger. Uh, so it's pretty directional uh, since these things are can you see this please camera I don't know if you can see this these um, coils are very directional so they pick up sound from well everywhere but they seem to be somewhat if you need them to be somewhat directional What you are hearing right now, by the way, is, is just the, the recorder um, recording its own uh, interference sounds. By the way, did I mention that uh, CL detects um, EMF signals, so electromagnetic uh, frequencies, picks up uh, all kinds of residual uh, noise that are traveling around and through us. Let's head over to my somewhat clean kitchen. And of course, what better place to end up than in the studio? Let's just record uh, this softbox here, or the wiring leading up to the light and such. How are you feeling today? And how has the happening of today influenced uh, your emotional state? Is there anyone you want to say hello to at home? Okay, now over to the softbox.
I'm actually very impressed with uh, the Hesley Club's CL2. And well, that's not me saying that because LB sent me this and I want to make a good review to please him. No. I mean, I tried it with the ether. The thing is, this does not sound better, but it does not sound worse. And well, the main downside of ether is they're not calibrated exactly the same. So if you want to use them in stereo like I want to do, because I want to make a stereo uh, sound library or sampled instrument for decent sampler with this, uh, with this type of sound, I'm very glad that LB gave me a chance to try this uh, CL2. I'm very optimistic that with this I will be able to make the stereo uh, soundscape sample instrument possible. And that's going to be it for me for now about this. I just wanted to make this quick video. See you next time. Bye. By the way, I don't know if you met Olaf before. This is Olaf. Olaf is a nice, nice boy.